So why do narcissists want to stay friends after a discard? After you've left them, whatever it is, why do they want to stay friends? Let's talk about that. My name is Lise Colucci, and I am here to help you understand and heal from toxic relationships in your life, from relationships with narcissistic people. Hit the thumbs up, hit subscribe, and let's talk about this. So why do they want to stay friends? Have you been with a narcissist and they discarded you, but they're trying to be your friend? Like, I can remember mine wanting me to dog sit. I'm like, why? Why do you want, wait, what? You want me to be your friend? Oh, I'll always talk to you. What makes you think I want to talk to you, right? Like, like, what is that? Why do they do that? So basically the simple answer is one word, supply. That is what they're after. They're after your attention, your energy, what you brought to the relationship in the first place, your goodness, your empathy. They're after it all. They're after supply. They don't want to lose that. They are all about attention and control. They want to control situations so that they can maintain the attention and the supply from other people. So something as simple as if you ended it or you didn't fight to keep them there, it's about their ego. They need to be the one to end it. They need to be, have a little piece of control of you so that they can do things in front of you and dangle things in front of your face so that you're jealous, so that you're reacting, so that you see them having fun and you're while you're hurting because they know you're hurting, right? So there's one reason. If you bruise their ego, they want to get you back and they want things to be on their terms, basically a discard. They cannot let you be happy and narcissist cannot let you be happy unless it's something they're controlling so you have to understand that it's about ownership that when a narcissist has their grips on you when they are the person and they, that when they have you in their life and when they see you as an important person in their life whether it be husband wife or son daughter whatever it is they own you they don't see you as an individuated human being they see you as an extension of self or extension of their ego or a person there to serve their ego and a person there to serve themselves and therefore to let you be happy would be basically them letting you be happy so if they see you happy on your own no 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 that's not okay by them you see they can't allow that they want access another thing they might be doing is setting you up for the hoover they want access so that they can come get you with a hoover anytime they want when they are in need of supply they're doing it to keep controlling you again they don't want to let go of the thing that they think they possess because that's theirs to control in their minds here's the thing they had you in in their life for a reason and you played a role you played a part you were caregiving you were helpful you were kind you were loving you were understanding you were their secretary so to speak right you were there whatever it was whatever role like major role they had a lot of people leave marriages with a narcissist and they'll say my gosh it's like they expect me to be their secretary and I said, were, were you their secretary in the marriage? And they think about it and go, oh my gosh, I was. I did all, I, I scheduled everything, every vacation we took, everything we did. I bought their clothes. I, I made sure that this was done and that was done and this was done, you know, so that the timing worked out. Yeah, so they don't wanna let go of their secretary. They don't wanna let go of whatever role it is that, that, that you are playing in their life. They want you to be that, but then they wanna go off on the side and have their fun time elsewhere. Basically, they're, they're, they could be game playing just to hurt you. The thing is, a narcissistic person was never your friend in the first place because friendship requires reciprocal care, understanding, accountability, kindness, sharing, giving. It requires a certain level of reciprocation. Without that reciprocation, you're doing something for someone who is not giving to you. And yes, of course, you can say, yeah, they were funny. They were fun. They gave me this. They gave me that. It's if you look at it, the balance is way off and the balance is so far in your doing for them and so small in their in their reciprocating that for you. And at the same time, they've convinced you that to expect reciprocation is selfish and it, it's just a world of games and it is never a healthy thing to be in any kind of relationship, whether it is friendship or otherwise with a narcissistic person. They hurt everyone they touch. They damage every relationship they're in. They will make it look good on the outside, but really they're hurting people all around. So pay attention if, if someone is trying to be your friend after a discard or whatever situation that's similar. 
for any of these signs, for any of these traits, you know, you're going to play it out how you need to play it out, but, but watch out, be careful and know that a narcissist is a narcissist. A toxic person is very unlikely to change. A narcissist will not change because they lack the accountability and the empathy that it takes to create that change, lasting change, the change being becoming a person who acts from empathy. Okay. Um, so watch out. All right. I am Lise Colucci and hit the thumbs up, hit subscribe. If you need coaching, group coaching, or peer support, check out the information in the description of every video. And I will see you guys next time. Take care.